So this comment has one, and I have spent so very long trying to find out why exactly the Joker is in Nicaragua. Too much time, in fact, I've been taking a lot of time trying to figure out why you guys wanted it like this, and I have finally come to the conclusion that, yeah, it's, it's completely random. And the next theme for the mod will be dragons, so leave your very draconic ideas in the comments below and I will implement it whether it's making Skyrim in Hoi 4, making some ancient dragon empire, or with another ancient dragon empire, or if you just want me to add a dragon McDonald's to the game, or... I don't know. A anything is fair game. You say it and I will make it reality. Well, reality within a uh, map game, but that's uh, that's basic reality to us, my friends. So welcome to Nicaragua, or as most people know it, the society. Yeah, so we start off with only one division, which isn't very good. We're not going to be doing much. I've never played as Nicaragua in Hoi 4, maybe once, maybe in Red 56 or something. But I am not very experienced with the um, Central American countries, so I don't know how well this will go. Even though I've made us slightly powerful, we have a few good focuses and the generic focus tree, which is decent. But Batman also has the generic focus tree down there in Gotham City, the most famous city in all of South America. Yeah, of course, he leads. He, well, he doesn't lead Wayne Enterprises. That's Bruce Wayne, of course. But Batman, he's a vigilante hero of Uruguay. I guess it would make more sense for him to be a general in that case. But this is this is the beta version of version 7. So there's still a lot to improve. We'll start building an extra military factory. We only have one supply hub, so we can't really build any railways yet. But once we invade more of Central America, America, it'll be fine because of course we have to invade them and I I don't know destroy their societies or maybe make them join our society I I I don't know what's going on here so there's just vague connotations to what we're actually doing but yeah we'll start with um, an amazing focus to start things off also we're in a blank slate today we're not including versions one through six of the mod into this version of the mod because of the new update. Oh, and here's another great event that can only really be explained with the other versions, but regardless, communist revolutionaries Raphael Franco and Valerie Soblin have today formalized a pact between their two nations. Yeah, so they're in a faction, Soblin and Raphael Franco, the true um, <laughs> communist revolutionaries of our times. So have the penguin and leading Brazil. Brazil honestly hasn't really changed that much under the penguin. It's basically the same, except, you know, they're gonna get invaded. So elsewhere in the world, where we'll probably never interact with, Japan's gone their neutrality path, Germany's in a civil war, no one else has really done anything yet. I guess we can have fun watching what Russia does, but that's obviously not the main highlight of what's going on today. We're also going to invest in clown car fleets. This will be our main um, mode of attack. We'll be um, spamming trucks. I know, it's, it's kind of weird to be playing as a Central American nation and having motorized divisions. It's unheard of, kind of. But yeah, that's what we're doing. It's going to be interesting, invading the mountains of Costa Rica with trucks and driving through South America with trucks and no fuel. I guess we could buy some from America, maybe take the fuel in Panama for ourselves. And wow, how exciting. We finally sent our first letter to Batman. It's a very well-written letter. It's a nice array, a perfectly formatted array of salutations. I think it's a pretty impressive. We're now going to make face paint required for our army. Of course, it's natural when you have an army of clowns. Well, clown cars to be exact, I guess I should, you know, 
change the name. We're also going to have a motorized division port garrison, which I'm sure is gonna end terribly eventually. Also, Wayne Enterprises is invading Brazil. Batman is fighting the Penguin in other terms. They will um, probably win. And if they don't win, then that kind of ruins this entire game. They have a lot of divisions. They made extra divisions on top of the already large amount of divisions they start with. The new update causes a lot of chaos here. Lithuania just got out of a civil war, Estonia's in a civil war, Poland's in a civil war, the Soviets might fall to a civil war, um, maybe I should have added the Nicaraguan civil war. I would have had to add an extra state here, because with how civil wars work, you need at least two states to fire one, but uh, I guess I could have done that. That'd have been kind of cool. That There's only five, that there's only five provinces or four provinces here, so not much space to add another state, but it could have been interesting. I, uh, I know, quite the letdown for this video. Okay, so we'll invade uh, Costa Rica now. The only issue about striking south is we're going to have to invade Panama, which requires us to have a navy because since the US owns this tile, we'll have to naval invade around the US's tile to take their capital and capitulate them. And we don't have a navy and it's gonna take quite a while for us to build this dockyard so we can start building submarines. Oh, I guess, I guess I could just do the generic naval effort focus. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. All we need is one submarine to get naval supremacy. Oh yeah, and then we need the naval invasion technology too. Oh, and we have no trains. We don't even have trains researched. This is interesting. This is my first time playing as a small country like this in the new update. So what we're going to have to do is before we can really do anything, we're gonna have to research transport ships and we're going to have to um, invent the new technology of trains. Then we'll have to start building trains with one of our three mills. This is, uh, this is already getting kind of complicated. At least we got a couple dockyards from uh, Costa Rica. But we don't have subs researched actually, so we need to switch one of these guys onto researching subs. German Empire, non-aligned Germany got the Sudetenland. That's something you very rarely see also. Otto von Habsburg is around, so I think we're going to see a central powers move. And we have no trains, no supply, very little fuel storage, but we still should be able to invade Honduras and these northern Central American countries. It's mainly the south, well, Panama, that's giving us the issue there. These guys don't have enough divisions to even stop our unsupplied divisions. I guess this is kind of fun though, because now we get to figure out how good supply is in South America in No Step Back. I don't know if anybody's done this experiment before, so today we get to find out whether it's better or worse, probably worse, but uh, that's, that's just my guess. Well, we have a train now, well, two trains actually, but I don't really understand how trains are going to be useful considering our current situation. I looked at the railways map mode and there aren't any railways in Central America, so without any railways, I don't really think that trains would do anything. According to the logistics fulfillment tab, we need them apparently, but I, I don't know, I guess we can build this railway, the first railway in Central America, sure. You know, there's something kind of satisfying though about building the railway network up from the ground. This is kind of fun. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice feeling building up our society from nothing. It's very, very nice. Okay, so here's how we're going to win with only really bad motorized divisions. I think that if I move these divisions here, like just strat redeploy them to this province, they'll move all their divisions out of their capital and then we can naval invade them with our new naval invasion technology. Maybe. I guess that's a supply hub, so I probably shouldn't have let them take it, but it's it's gonna be okay. Also, Germany and communist China are in a faction, that's... That's fun. Since the strategy worked so well for us before, I'm going to fall back here and hope they leave their capital again, or if they just have one guy in it, that's fine. And now we can destroy.
destroy the societies because we've capitulated all the other Central American countries. So that's very nice. We will steal Panama soon and then we can build a nice railroad all the way through Central America and have supply everywhere. Oh, that'll, that'll be a great day. I guess we'll build this railroad first. And we invaded Colombia, and now Wayne Enterprises has invaded us. Finally, they've done their final focus. They also joined the Allies, but I don't think they'll be able to call the democracies into the war. There's a certain thing where democracies don't like joining offensive wars against neutral or democratic nations, so... I feel like um, we should be okay, but I do have divisions on Mexico's border just in case. And I've improved our um, clown car divisions a little bit. I added some support companies and some artillery. We also joined the Anti-Enterprise Alliance, which consists of us, the Soviets, Turkey, which has capitulated. Um, Japan, notably. We're trying to do an encirclement maneuver here where we take, well, it looks like they had a division there. Our motorized are at least fast. They're kind of slow in this terrain, but they're still kind of fast, um, all things considered. We've also infiltrated the workshops of Wayne Enterprises and replaced their real gun manufacturing with toy gun manufacturing. I know, genius. This is the only way that we can save Rafael Franco in Paraguay. Yes, now Wayne Enterprises will be powerless to stop us. Well, um, the, the one thing that might defeat us is supply, but... Uh, it's not as bad as I thought. And the Soviets have no divisions on the Eastern Front. I, I think all their divisions are in China. Yep, yeah, all their divisions were in China. That's, that's good. And I have discovered a way to win this war. I'm constructing a supply hub in the middle of the Amazons. I think this is our best chance at victory. Giving us supply will give us the advantage we need to push all the way to Uruguay and take Gotham City for ourselves. This will be our most triumphant victory as we storm into the city with thousands of, or tens of thousands of clown cars or clown trucks technically. Well, this has been a very difficult fight. It's It's been hard building up supply from nothing. The US keeps naval invading us everywhere and there's a million ports on every tile so we have to put divisions all along the entire coast just to stop them. But our supply has been built up, we have railroads, and we have liberated Rafael Franco, and we are driving right now towards Gotham City itself. The Soviets are also are surviving, kind of, somehow, mostly because Japan has given them a ton of divisions to help to start building more railroads to connect the one we made in the Amazons down to the railroads down here, and then maybe we can get some supply on the southern front. And Mexico has divisions on the entire front line, save their capital. So that's a rather convenient mistake that the AI has made. Um, so we will use these motorized to take Mexico City. And the US is landing too many naval invasions everywhere. Our um, uh, coastal defenses have worn thin. I think this is the end for us. Um, all these divisions are about to become encircled. This, this isn't good. This might be our end. We might need to make our escape, but luckily, even if um, our faction loses, we are in neutrality, so if Batman puppets us, which he'll probably do, he won't finish us off. He'll let us live as a puppet state, under guidance, receiving reform. Yeah, that's that's good. And then we can strike another day, I'm sure, later on in the century. We still have plenty of time. Anyways, that's all for today. I guess I will see you all um, next time as we do something else that's probably really weird and crazy. I, I don't know. Anyways, see you um, then.